The Scandalous and Shocking Year of 1969, 10 Intriguing Facts 1969 was a whirlwind year marked by groundbreaking events, shocking scandals, and unforgettable moments. From political turmoil to cultural milestones, the year brought seismic shifts in history. Here are 10 of the most scandalous, shocking, and fascinating stories from that extraordinary year. Number 1. Chappaquiddick, The Kennedy Tragedy On the night of July 18, 1969, Senator Ted Kennedy drove his Oldsmobile off the Dyke Bridge on Chappaquiddick Island, Massachusetts. His passenger, Mary Jo Kopeng, a 28-year-old former campaign worker for Robert F. Kennedy, was trapped inside the vehicle and drowned. Kennedy escaped the submerged car and left the scene, failing to report the accident until the next morning, 10 hours later. His delay in inconsistent accounts of the events, including his claim of multiple rescue attempts, drew widespread criticism. At his trial, Kennedy pleaded guilty to leaving the scene of an accident, receiving a suspended two-month sentence. In a televised address, Kennedy admitted, I regard as indefensible the fact that I did not report the accident immediately. The incident tarnished Kennedy's political image and is widely regarded as the death knell for his presidential ambitions. Chappaquiddick remains a haunting chapter in the Kennedy family's storied history. Number 2. The Manson Murders between August 8 and 10, 1969, followers of Charles Manson, known as the Manson family, committed one of the most infamous murder sprees in U.S. history. On August 8, they broke into the Los Angeles home of Sharon Tate, an actress and wife of director Roman Polanski, brutally killing her and four others. Tate, eight months pregnant, was stabbed 16 times. The next night, the group killed supermarket executive Leno LaBianca and his wife, Rosemary, in similarly gruesome fashion. Manson intended these murders to ignite a race war he called Helter Skelter, inspired by a twisted interpretation of a Beatles song. The murders horrified the nation, symbolizing the darker undercurrents of the 1960s counterculture. The ensuing trial in 1971 became a media spectacle, cementing Manson and his cult as enduring symbols of terror. Tate's devastated husband Polanski later said, it was beyond comprehension. Number 3. Woodstock, the festival that defined a generation. Held August 15-18, 1969, on Max Yaska's farm in Bethel, New York, Woodstock drew over 400,000 attendees despite poor planning and adverse weather. Organizers expected only 50,000 people, leading to traffic jams, food shortages, and overwhelmed medical services. Iconic performances by Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Santana, and the who epitomized the spirit of the 1960s counterculture. Hendrix's rendition of The Star-Spangled Banner became legendary. Despite the chaos ranging from mudslides to a few drug overdoses, the festival remained remarkably peaceful. Richie Havens, the opening act, reflected, Woodstock was a once-in-a-lifetime thing. The festival cost organizers millions but solidified its status as a cultural milestone, symbolizing the ideals of peace, music, and unity. Number 4. The Moon Landing Hoax Controversy On July 20, 1969, NASA's Apollo 11 mission achieved a monumental milestone when astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin became the first humans to walk on the moon. Watched by over 600 million people worldwide, Armstrong's words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind, echoed across the globe. The mission marked a significant victory for the United States in the space race against the Soviet Union. However, almost immediately after the landing, conspiracy theories began to emerge. Skeptics claimed the event was staged in a Hollywood studio, citing alleged anomalies such as the lack of stars in photographs, inconsistent shadows, and the apparent fluttering of the U.S. flag. Some even pointed to filmmaker Stanley Kubrick, alleging he directed the hoax due to the realism of his 1968 film 2001, A Space Odyssey. NASA has repeatedly debunked these theories, explaining that the flag's motion was caused by inertia and that shadows appeared unusual due to the moon's uneven surface. Despite overwhelming evidence, including 382 kilograms of lunar rocks brought back by astronauts, polls show that 6% of Americans still believe the moon landing was faked. The persistence of these theories reflects deep societal distrust during the Vietnam War and Watergate eras. 
Number 5. Altamont, The End of the Peace and Love Era. On December 6, 1969, the Rolling Stones hosted a free concert at Altamont Speedway in California, envisioned as a West Coast version of Woodstock. Instead, it became a symbol of the darker side of the counterculture. Over 300,000 people attended, and the Hells Angels motorcycle gang was hired for security, paid in $500 worth of beer. Violence erupted throughout the day, exacerbated by drug use and a lack of organization. The chaos reached its peak during the Stones' performance when Meredith Hunter, an 18-year-old African-American, attempted to approach the stage with a revolver. He was stabbed to death by Hell's Angel Alan Passaro, who claimed self-defense. The incident was captured in the documentary Gimme Shelter, horrifying viewers and signaling the end of the 1960s ethos of peace and love. Critics have described Altamont as the anti-Woodstock, with Rolling Stone magazine calling it rock and roll's all-time worst day. The event left a lasting scar on the cultural landscape, illustrating the volatility and contradictions of the countercultural movement. Number 6. The Chicago 8 Trial. Beginning in September 1969, the trial of the Chicago 8, including activists Abby Hoffman, Jerry Rubin, and Bobby Seale, captivated the nation. Charged with inciting riots during the 1968 Democratic National Convention, the defendants used the courtroom as a platform for political theater. Seal, the only African-American defendant, was controversially bound and gagged after clashing with Judge Julius Hoffman, sparking outrage. Abby Hoffman famously quipped, this is the Woodstock of the courtroom. After months of dramatic testimony and protests, five of the defendants were convicted, though the verdicts were later overturned. The trial highlighted deep divisions in America over civil rights, the Vietnam War, and government authority. Number 7. The Stonewall Riots. On June 28, 1969, a routine police raid on the Stonewall Inn, a gay bar in Greenwich Village, New York City, sparked an unprecedented uprising. Patrons, led by figures like Marsha P. Johnson and Sylvia Rivera, resisted arrest and clashed with police for six days. Johnson later called it a rebellion against oppression. The riots marked the birth of the modern LGBTQ rights movement, inspiring the first Pride March in 1970. Stonewall galvanized advocacy for equality, culminating in milestones like marriage equality decades later. Historian David Carter described the riots as the Rosa Parks moment for gay rights. Number 8. The Zodiac Killer Strikes Again. In October 1969, the elusive Zodiac Killer claimed his fifth confirmed victim, Paul Stein, a cab driver in San Francisco. The Zodiac sent taunting letters to newspapers, some containing cryptic ciphers and chilling phrases like, this is the Zodiac speaking. The killer's identity remains unknown, despite extensive investigations and a list of suspects, including Arthur Lee Allen, who was never charged. The Zodiac's reign of terror, spanning 1968 to 1974, left five confirmed victims, and possibly many more, making it one of the most infamous unsolved serial killer cases in American history. Number 9. My Lie Massacre Cover-Up Revealed In November 1969, journalist Seymour Hersh exposed the massacre of over 500 Vietnamese civilians by U.S. troops in My Lai on March 16, 1968. The victims, mostly women, children, and the elderly, were gunned down under the command of Lt. William Calley. The U.S. Army initially tried to suppress the incident, but Hirsch's report unleashed global condemnation. Calley was court-martialed and sentenced to life in prison but served only three years under house arrest. The massacre became a symbol of the moral failures of the Vietnam War, fueling anti-war protests and questioning America's role in the conflict. Number 10. The Beatles Break Up Rumors By late 1969, tensions among the Beatles reached a breaking point. John Lennon, frustrated with creative and personal conflicts, privately announced his departure in September. Fans noticed growing divides, particularly as Paul McCartney began work on his solo projects. Speculation intensified with cryptic lyrics and McCartney's absence from promotional events. Lennon later admitted, the dream is over. The official breakup wasn't confirmed until April 1970, devastating millions of fans and marking the end of an iconic era in music history.